How's it going guys, it's K-Cars, and today I'm gonna be going over five things I hate about the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack after four years. So if you guys have been with the channel for quite a long time now, I guess, a few years, uh, then you would have seen my video that I did way back. Uh, it did get a good bit of hate because I guess I was complaining about things that don't really matter, but that's the whole point of this video. Like, these things that I hate don't matter. That's why this car is such a great car. So if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know where to begin with things I hate about this car because the more and more I drive this car, the more I love it. Like, I didn't think that was gonna be possible. I thought it would just go down, but it just never stops to amaze me, like how reliable this car is. I heard so many like bad things, like bad rumors about how Dodges aren't reliable at all. They have a bunch of rust. They don't last a long time at all and I haven't experienced any of that. It's like the first actual drive I took this car on. I got like a warning light. It said service stability control or something like that but it literally went away after maybe an hour of driving and it never came back. I never saw that warning again and never had a check engine light, never had any kind of problems with this car. I have been like one or two times where it kind of felt like it didn't want to start up, but I mean, it started up fine whenever I tried the next time. I guess I will try to find like five minor things I hate about this car, but if I don't come up with five, then sorry about that because I just couldn't find five things. So let me see what I can think of. I guess number one would be the stock tires that it comes with. It comes with 245 stock and this is a 2016 they all came with 245 stock now they're making the wide body scat pack not completely sure what size tires those come with but i would think they're a little bit wider because the wide body hellcats come with wider tires i'm pretty sure a 485 horsepower stock car they should have put at least 275s on there now the 275s are skinny for the hellcat that's what they put on the hellcats in my opinion, I think the Hellcast should have came with 305s and the Scat Pack should have came with 275s. So my number two complaint about the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack would be the weight of the car. Now, whenever I first got this car, I didn't really pay too much attention to the weight. I know a lot of people call this car a boat and I didn't really agree with them, but I kind of see what they mean now after four years. It took me that long, but... So this car weighs 4,200 pounds compared to something like a Corvette that weighs like 3,500 pounds. You can definitely tell the difference. Now I know the Challenger is only made for straight line speed. It's not really made to handle or go around turns or anything fancy like that. It doesn't actually have to be lightweight to go fast in a straight line. Like if you look at something like I guess a Lamborghini Aventador or a Bugatti Veyron, those things weigh a lot and they're insanely fast in a straight line and this thing weighs a lot for what it is it's pretty fast in a straight line as well and also for what it is it handles turns better than i would have expected now i did take this car to the pittsburgh international raceway which is a road course with actual turns and i had cars like i don't know honda civics beating me and miatas now of course on the straightaways i could have easily passed them but in the turns i was just getting completely lost if you haven't seen that video, it's a few years back if you want to check it out. But it was definitely a cool experience to know the limits of this car. The limits of how it turns and how far I can take it into a turn. And it was definitely a good experience, like I said. But going back to the weight of the car, it definitely is a downside of the car and you can actually feel like the weight. You can feel the weight going in a straight line and just sitting in it. Like it feels like a big boat, a big car, you know? But after driving a Z06 and then coming back into this car, you can definitely tell that it is a much bigger car. The Corvette Z06, like I said, weighs 3,500 pounds. So that's about a 700 pound advantage. It's also a lot more compact and I'm not gonna get too much into the Z06 in this video because I made a bunch of videos with that car, but just comparing it to the Challenger, you can definitely feel the weight of the car and like feel the size of it too. Like it feels bigger and it feels heavier and you definitely can not feel it when you, when even when you're just sitting in the car or driving it, both, you can feel the weight and the size. So number two was the weight of the car. I'm kind of having trouble coming up with the other three things that I hate about this car, but I'm just gonna, make something up and 
this isn't an actual complaint but i just wanted to come up with five things so for my number three complaint i'm gonna say i don't like having to take off the shaker to change the oil in this car which i mean i don't mind it at all i'm just trying to make up stuff for the video but that could be a complaint i can see somebody actually complaining about that it's not a huge deal for me it's only like five bolts that you unscrew and then you pick it right up you can see how some people wouldn't want to spend the extra time but that's why the offer the challenger without the shaker so you wouldn't have that complaint or that problem so like i said that doesn't really matter like it's not a thing that i would actually complain about with this car but it's kind of just something i wanted to add into the video just like if you're thinking about getting a challenger that's something you have to think about if you don't want to spend the extra minute to take off the shaker then don't get a challenger with a shaker and i did post a video on how to actually remove the shaker to uh, change the oil i also posted an oil change tutorial if you guys want to see that as well but like i said the number three complaint i have about this car is you have to take the shaker off to change the oil so the number four thing that i'm going to mention in this video is also something that doesn't matter at all because if it did matter you wouldn't be buying this car so the number four thing that i hate about the dodge challenger scat pack is how stiff the suspension is now when you're going over any kind of bumps you have to slow down a lot at least that's what i do because i feel bad for the car going over all those bumps and potholes there was one time uh during the winter i was actually on my way to motorama that was in 2018 whenever that old guy hit street speed 717's truck i've seen an interesting video if you haven't seen that one but anyways, um, I was on my way to Motorama. I hit a huge pothole. Don't even know how it happened. And I thought the tire popped, honestly. That was definitely the worst um, pothole I've ever hit with this car. So that is kind of a complaint is that the suspension is stiff. But if you're getting a sports car or a performance car, then that's something you would expect anyways. So if there's a pothole or if the road's bumpy, you definitely have to slow down. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea so you don't pop the tire or mess anything up in the car. So that's kind of a complaint. It's not a complaint for me because I like making people mad and then flying past them when the road's smooth and on a straightaway or something like that. It's always fun to do that, but if you do not like slowing down for potholes or bumps, then don't get this car because you're going to have to do that. Like I said, it's not really a complaint for me. It's just something that could be a complaint for somebody else and yeah so that's i think that's my number four reason is the suspension is very stiff and you have to slow down for potholes and bumps so let's go on to number five so like my previous two complaints the last complaint that i have is also going to be something that doesn't matter at all and that's going to be the exhaust and specifically how quiet it is from the factory now the stock exhaust really isn't loud at all that's why this car is crazy loud because i wanted to compensate for how quiet it was um stock so i don't think i have any actual videos of how it sounded stock but the exhaust that i have on this car is it's actually a stock cat back mid muffler delete long tube headers catless mid pipes um so it's pretty much as loud as you can go with the stock cat back if i wanted to go even louder i could probably do like corsa extreme cat back maybe that would probably make it a bit louder, but I don't want to spend $2,000 on a piece of pipe. So uh, I like it just the way it is right now. I like how it sounds. I would like to have maybe black exhaust tips instead of the silver ones. Here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So these are the stock exhaust tips the Challenger came with. They're just silver like this. I would like them to be black to match the rest of the car a little bit better. As you can see here, it's pretty much just red and black all over the car, except for the center caps right there. And then you got these silver um, exhaust tips right here. And they do get dirty pretty easily. Let's see if I can get a close up right here. So, you can see there's kind of like a little dirt right there, which isn't a big deal. But this was actually one of my complaints about the Z06 as well, is that it had silver tips. I would like them to be black on the Z06 as well, but for this car i would like it to be louder stock and i would like to have black tips instead of silver because it's so quiet from the factory that does give you room to play with i guess so like i said for the tires as well it does give you room to actually upgrade and modify the car same thing with the exhaust since it's so quiet it gives you room to play with it 
you can put on headers, catalyst mid pipes, even do a cat back or just a mid muffler delete. But that's the beauty of this car. They don't just give you the whole package right up front. They make the car awesome, have it well stock, and then give you room to upgrade as well, which that's pretty much how every car is. But with a car like this, you have more room to play with, I guess. There's definitely room to go up with this car. And like I said, these complaints weren't actual complaints. Just kind of things that I came up with for maybe people looking to buy a Dodge Challenger's cat packs. Just some things to think about before you actually make your decision. I guess that's it for the video. Those were five things I hate about the Dodge Challenger's cat pack after four years. And there's really actually nothing I hate about this car. Kind of just wanted to give you guys a list of things that some people might complain about. But really this car has been perfect for me. Um, zero complaints at all. So if you guys have anything to add to the video, make sure to leave that down in the comments. And if you have any video suggestions for videos you would like to see in the future, also comment those down below. And if you found this video entertaining or liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.